Busy throng, beautiful dreamer, awake unto me. Beautiful dreamers out on the sea, mermaids are chanting the wild lorelei. Over the streamlet, vapors are born. Waiting to fade at the bright coming morn. Beautiful dreamer, beam on my heart. E'en as the morn on the streamlet and sea, then will our clouds of sorrow depart. Beautiful dreamer, awake unto me. Beautiful dreamer, awake unto me. make some signs here, just a signature here. And here. And just one more. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. We're done? We're done. I mean, we're both so excited. It's nice to see you again. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Congratulations. So Thank you. Congratulations. Oh, there's a pool. Bring a suit. Cool. She's great. You do not want her at our new community pool in a fucking bathing suit.
going on, honey? Dinner for the week. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I found a YouTube channel on healthy Ready? meal planning. Ooh. I feel like we've discussed the pain of writer's block enough so that you'll know. I'm not making light of the situation, but it definitely has an upside for me. Wait, toddlers have their own stationery now? Toddlers? No, I don't think it's a toddler thing. It's a Billy and Sarah thing. Oh, don't forget we're helping them move on Saturday. Impressive. Thanks. Mm. I'm really gonna miss this view. I am really gonna miss having you right downstairs. Billy. My Billy. Presumably of sound mind and body has chosen to give up a 4,000 square foot Pacific Heights rent controlled apartment to exile himself in the middle of fucking McNowhere. Yeah, but you know, look at all the parking. <laughs> Not ready for silver linings? Let's just do this. My baby girl. The sitter sent pictures of Tallulah at the park. Oh, here's one with Fred. Oh, look, Freddy! Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the video at Santa's workshop? Tallulah, look at the camera. Billy, are you getting this? Mm. Look there, she keeps kissing the elf stuffy. Mm -hmm. Cute. Now watch how she won't put it down. Seriously, we had to buy it. Oh, um, this goes right by the window. <gasps> oh my God, Billy. Look at this, baby us's in Brooklyn. Mm, yeah, we were cool once. Shut up, I'm still cool. Not really. It's true. Oh, um, yeah, you know, I'm being completely obnoxious, but you have to see this video of the sleigh. Can you? Send it to me, or maybe, can we do this later? Just, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 sure, yeah. I'll send it to you. Okay, great. Right. <sighs> Got it, thanks. Uh, it's airdrop, you gotta press accept. used to love this book. Oh, oh God, <laughs> no. Thanks for finding that. We are not embracing this story. It's all the food stuff, body issues. It starts so young nowadays. Right, but it's about an insect. Still. Hello? <laughs> oh, hi, hi, hi. Oh, hi. hi. <laughs> I'm 
have Donna, Donna Delaporo. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. Aww. I'm Billy. Uh -huh. My wife and yeah, I listen, just moved. Listen, not to bug you, but um, there's kind of like a major association no-no that you cannot park in front of someone else's house. Oh, I'm parked in my driveway. Oh, well, that's great, but there's an unknown Subaru parked right in front of my house. <laughs> that's me. I'm sorry, really sorry. I leave it to the lesbians to park the four-wheel drive in the inappropriate place. Lesbians, super. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> Welcome to Oakland. You're gonna love it. <laughs> it is an amazing. We are ten minutes from our front door. Oh yeah. And we have a community yeah. pool. Did you bring your suit? Yes. Yeah. Usually oh, this is basically our backyard. Billy, this thing weighs a ton. What am I chirping? Yeah. Mm. Wait, what about up here? It's perfect. It seems excessive now, but now we get to have adult time. <laughs> Trust me, you do not want three nager Tallulah without her nap. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, really? This is our contribution? No, I didn't know it was going to be so fancy. Speaking of which, are we celebrating something? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We're pregnant. Oh my God, that's great! Congratulations! Thank you. How far along? <laughs> Thirty-two weeks. Wait, eight months. Which is the other thing? We got a surrogate. <sighs> Which is why I can drink this champagne. When did you do it? Last March, when we went to San Diego. Oh, but that was when you told me you were on the forced fun work trip. I'm stoked. It's a boy. Cheers. Congratulations. Cheers. Cheers. I mean, it'd be awesome to have two girls, but now I get to have my son. Hmm. So, surrogate, you must have taken some planning. Oh, a ton of planning and a lot of shitty drugs. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were trying right after Tallulah, but you know how brutal that whole fertility thing was. Do you know her? The surrogate? Oh, God, no. I mean, we met her a couple times at the lawyers. She lives in San Diego. So when do you guys have the, or when do you get, take possession of the baby? He's ours now, Margaret. Okay. And she's gonna come live with us in the last few weeks. Why? What's the norm? And then we can use the same OBGYN that we had with Tallulah. And that way Sarah can start breastfeeding right away. Yeah, I'm taking Domperidone right now to increase my prolactin levels, which induces lactation so I can breastfeed. Breast is best, right, John? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm a fan. <laughs> that must have cost a fortune. Yeah, not cheap. She's a complete stranger giving us a baby. You'd expect that to be a little expensive. Well, she's providing an invaluable service. And we are thrilled to pay for that service. Yeah, it's a business. Seriously, I mean, I remember when Paul and Paul did it and it cost something like 50,000 bucks or something crazy like that. Sarah's mother gave us money. We told her it was for the kitchen remodel. That you're doing? Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell her it was for the baby? She didn't want to. What? Well, that's just, you know, a whole lot of secrets. Sarah told her mother she's pregnant, which she is, just not in her actual body. Mm -hmm. Give me a break. It's Sarah's business what she tells her mom. Yeah, but you're stuck doing the remodel. Just tell me how it's going. I'm here, so that's good. Have you been writing at all? <laughs> Half a page a day. Did you try the exercise? You mean the one where I don't write my book? Why is that? It's not forever. And it's because I can't think of a worse way to face writer's block than sitting in your room and staring at a computer. It's a recipe for disaster. So I what? So I free write on paper? Mm -hmm. You see what happens. What happens? What happens is I don't have a book. 
and then I lose my contract, and then I, I just, I don't have time, you know? I, I would rather not write what I wanna write than write some bullshit to help me write something I, I don't even know what it is. <sighs> can we just, can we talk about something else, please? How's your relationship? It's weird. After seeing each other for 15 years, basically every day and hanging out, now it's all texting about traffic and BART schedules, nap times and play dates. It's like planning a fucking military operation. Okay, but I was talking about Jen. Oh yeah, it's good, it's good. She wants to go to Inverness for a week. Her, uh, her friend has a place up there and she's not gonna be there, so. I don't, I can't go right now. You know, I, I need my routine. Hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Oh, Pandora. Pandora was kind of gross. Yeah. This wine is from my mom's vineyard. She sent us a case. Isn't that a little passive aggressive if she thinks you're pregnant? So you've met my mom. Uh, Everyone needs a glass for the toast. <laughs> oh, barbecue. Hi, Donna. Would you like to join us? Uh, no, thanks. Just a little FYI, today's a spare the air day. Oops. <laughs> Enjoy. Friendly gal. Mm, yeah, and helpful with all the neighborhood news bulletins. So, attention please. We actually invited you here for a reason. We want to make you. Ask you. Right. Margaret and you, Jen, to be Tallulah's guardians in case we, you know, die. Which we won't. But if we do, we want you to have Tallulah and our new, soon to be named, baby boy. Wow. Yeah, yeah, wow. Oh, I'm so flattered. I mean, we've thought long and hard about this, obviously. Yeah, and I'm so, I'm so flattered. If you want us to have your, that you want us to have your, your babies, if you die. I mean, the bottom line is, you are the two most loving, reliable women, people, women, people well, that you, we know. You know my sister. And oh yeah, no, no, you can't do that. Um, we're so flattered. You get everything: the accounts, the house. Well, technically, the kids get the house, but you can live there while you raise them. Uh huh. Um, I'll drive. And you could uh, rent out your place, get extra income. Yeah, I like living in our place. Yeah, but would you really want to raise two kids in the city? I did raise two kids in the city. Well, sure, sure, sure. But now? Uh, there are tons of kids in the city. I saw some with my own eyes just today. Uh, Margaret, get in the car. Right, right. I'll call you. They don't want them. What? Of course they do. The whole thing was weird. I don't want their kids. I don't want their kids either. I think maybe we should think about taking the kids. No. I would think about it for your best friend. Well, my best friend is a Buddhist nun, so that's never gonna happen. What kind of person doesn't take their best friend's kids? A person who knows what she wants. Is it weird that I never had that pull, you know, that thing that everybody talks about? Does it make me less female? No. Like, I had kids because I wanted kids. You didn't have them because you didn't want them. And Sarah wants a kid, but she has to pay somebody to have it for her. We're all female and we're all different. Different halves, different wants. Yeah, but what do I have, though? I mean, a baby's a tangible thing. You know, I'm just trying to finish a book that nobody cares about. Oh, God, they will care. They will. Honey, I'm so, so tired. Okay. I just 
still want to die in this apartment waiting for whatever. How much wine did you have tonight? Can you guarantee that there's still some surprise? Some huge unknown out there waiting for me? Okay. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And keep them closed. Okay. I was gonna wait to see if we ever made it to Inverness, but... Okay, all right. Okay, open them. Open your eyes. <gasps> Margaret, will you search for the huge unknown thing out there waiting for you with me for the rest of our lives? If you say you are so, so flattered. No, 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 I say yes, I say yes. Yeah. I say yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> I love you. Oh, my God. I love this ring. <laughs> and it won't get in the way when I type. No, I thought of that. Oh. <laughs> I am so going to propose back at you when you least expect it. Okay. <laughs> It's your mom. I don't get it. I wonder if something's wrong. The pillow. Get the pillow. Hi, Rita, how are you? I'm fantastic. Uh, what time is it there? It's 21 hours ahead, Bill. New Zealand will always be 21 hours ahead. No matter what time of the day we speak, just add, oh, there you are. Hi. 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 Sorry, we're, we're kind of in a rush. Is anything wrong? Do not live in fear, Sarah. How's Tallulah? She's good, she's still asleep. <laughs> what, during construction? What a little trooper. Oh. So how is it going? Can I see? Um, the kitchen? Well, you know, it's actually kind of a mess right now. It's going so slow, you know, contractors. Oh, don't I know. Now listen to me. You have to be firm with those people or they will walk all over you. Trust me on that. So, your pregnancy, I hear you've gained a lot of weight. Honey, you really want to be careful with that. Must I remind you that I only gained 17 pounds when I was carrying you. I think I dropped it all in, what, two months? But anyway, that's that's not why I called. I wanted to let you know that uh, looks like I'm going to be seeing you in a few weeks. Wait, did you just say you were coming here? Yeah, um, I'll be in Sonoma, what, at the Crabtree Winery for 10 days. Yeah, um, Tanya invited me. Uh, ordinarily, we would love to have you stay here. Honey, but... you're having a baby, and I have work to do. Yes, things are definitely chaotic here. I'm sure they are. You know, I, I'm going to do some PR on the new Pinot while I'm there, and then Tanya offered to drive me in to see you. When? Uh, let's see. On the, yeah, the 27th. I'm just going to stay for a few days, meet my new grandson. 
We'll come out there. Cat? What? <laughs> With a new baby and a toddler? Are you out of your mind? I don't think so. Plus, I want to come and see the kitchen. You know, and I'll whip those workers into shape for you. Oh, shoot. Um, honey, I have to take this call. Let's see. Uh, I think that's it. Cat the girl for me. Cow. Oh. She's coming here. This is bad. Yeah, yeah. It's a fucking catastrophe. Why didn't you just say no? Billy, that is not the issue right now. So we tell her the truth. About? About the kitchen. About the pregnancy. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't do that. She will never look at the kids the same way again. Not to Lula, not the baby, not me. You know what? Not a problem. There's not much left. Are you kidding? Billy, it's been two months. Nothing has progressed. Well, I'll take time off of work. When's she coming? The 27th. Perfect. We'll have the baby by then, and the kitchen will be done. Billy. No worries. It's all good. I got you. Some cabinets. So these cabinet doors are already up, and we're going to show you how we did that in just a sec. Now, your first thought is to go for one of these, but all you're going to need is one of these. Now, when it comes to hand See how it just slides right in there yeah. for him? Why can't I do that? Because they have an entire crew off screen to make it look easy. Well, carpentry is an actual profession. Okay. But even we can put the handles on. Some sandwiches and a snack. Okay. What's wrong with my screwdriver? <laughs> hey, so we hadn't been here in like forever, so let's kill some time i got us some chicken wings crispy fries and some wine yeah sorry i can't i pushed a meeting so i could get home early to work on the kitchen seriously dude got a couple of docu signs to get the guardianship ball rolling make sure to have jen sign it yeah about the whole guardianship thing. really relax what are the odds of both of us dying i think uh eventually 100 <laughs> percent i put all the baby stuff in a dropbox folder i'm sending you a link now so how do you go about choosing a surrogate? I mean, I had trouble choosing an internet provider. Well, there are videos, photographs, personal essays, medical records. Then you just kind of have to go with your gut. It's kind of like shopping for a car. <laughs> Jesus, Billy. You want to see her? Sure. That's her? Yep. She's a surfer. Isn't that cool? She's, uh, hmm? Billy, sir, it's hot. Yep. You're treating this so casually, it's kind of big. It's not that big a deal. Surrogacy's the new in vitro. Why didn't you tell me anything about anything? Things can go wrong, so we decided as a family to wait. Oh, well, yeah, no, I get it. Your wife, your, your daughter, your unborn child, it's your family. Margaret, you're my family. I'll demo you for the food. Okay. Hey, I'm doing my best. legendary San Francisco skyline. And that is the Bay Bridge, which we just came over, which is sort of a connector to the East Bay, which is where we live, our town, Oakland, Oaktown, Oaksterdam. 
Uh-huh. She's so pretty. Thank you. But we're trying to downplay physical descriptions. They can be so limiting, especially for girls. Oh, sure. I mean, you know, look how cute she is, or what a pretty dress, or look at her fancy shoes. I mean, it's, it's endless and appalling. Right, it can be so annoying when she's wearing her pink shearling Uggs. My mother sent her those. She can have nice things. That's not the point. No, I get it. No gender indoctrination. I think that's really cool. Are you hungry? Oh, I'm always hungry. Great, we'll stop and grab a bite. Tulula loves restaurants. What are you snacking on? Pirate food? <laughs> Thank you. I feel like, I feel like I'm faking it. I, I feel like it, like this is all fake, you know? This, this, and this. No, 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 what? This is so real. It doesn't feel natural. All this, it's just science. It's not what matters. Oh, this doesn't look like Takeout Thursday. Now, is this another YouTube moment? <laughs> no. I just thought I'd make something delicious for my fiance. Oh, nice. Mm hmm And cooking's kind of relaxing, kind of. Mm. Oh, that's right. How things go with Billy? Can we take it okay? Well, Billy actually canceled. Some work thing came up. Oh. And I thought texting him we didn't want his progeny was a little... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Can't do that. Yeah, so, and how was your day? Good, really good, nobody died. Oh, good. Oh, buddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go take a shower. Sure, do you have time? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 okay. If dogs had evolved so that they could occasionally lie, they would. I'm like a guest, uh, a, a friend. Do you need water? I'm Margaret. I, I, I actually know who you are, the whole situation. Oh, good, because I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say to people. I can't wait till dinner. I'm sorry. Eating for two, yeah? Yeah, oh my god, I'm always hungry. <laughs> Oh, hey, Margaret. Hey. Hi. So you guys met? Yeah, we did. Dramatically. Okay. Where's Jen? I texted you. She had to work. Oh, Sarah and I really wanted to have that family blending dinner. You gotta tell us stuff like that, Billy. 
You know, we would have baked a cake for the surrogate surprise party. <laughs> I'm gonna go lie down till dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. No, I mean, you could stick around or... No? Uh, yeah, just... No, no. Oh, know. yes. Oh. Thank you. Whatever you want. Nice meeting you. Thank you. No, it's not at all awkward, the situation. So weird. I keep thanking her. I, I, I have no idea why. So how's it going in here? Well, it's process, Marge. Those Home Depot tutorials keep making promises I can't keep. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, she's down for now, I think. Oh, gosh. Why'd you get that? Because it's our favorite. Pregnant women can't eat sushi. Well, I didn't know there was a pregnant woman in the building. Sarah, I'm sorry. That came out totally wrong. No, it's fine. We will just grill something. Yeah, but what about Donna? It'll be dark soon. We don't know what to tell our nosy neighbors. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sorry about the sushi. Oh, that's okay. I don't hate sushi. Mmm. Mmm. I'm starving again. Okay, sorry. Uh, d yeah. Mm. So it's agreed. We all love sushi. Mm -hmm. Billy, how are those veggies come in? Yeah, coming right up. Mm. Um. So, Crystal, how uh, how do you like Oakland? I haven't seen much of it yet. Um. We went to a fancy shopping mall. That's it? Mm-hmm. Well, Billy has been slammed with work, and I am trying to get as much as I can done before the baby arrives so I can take some time off in case you thought we were holding our hostage. No, I'm sorry. Did I say that? So, uh, how's the wedding planning coming along? Oh, God, we're nowhere near that yet. My girlfriend proposed. Oh, what a nice ring. Thank you. So I can type with it, so. Margaret's a writer. You are? What kind? Um, fiction? Like a hybrid memoir fiction. I'm on my second book. Her first one was basically about us in college at NYU. Yeah. Oh. We dated three of the same girls. <laughs> what? what? Yeah. Oh, I no. definitely read that. <laughs> no, no, no. You definitely do not need the sordid details of his emerging adulthood years. So, um, we have good news. We have a name. Carol. <laughs> You're not kidding. No. It's a great name. It's a girl's name. What about Carol O'Connor? Who's she? See? Girl's name. Specifically, matron's name. It means manly in Gaelic. Okay, look, I speak as someone whose own name sounds like I need help getting out of deep chairs. Literally, Carol means manly in Gaelic. <laughs> I can't believe you don't like it. I like Duke for manly names, if you're taking suggestions. There it is, Duke. Both manly and aspirational, boom. Great, we'll put it on the list. Vegetables came out well. Oh, am I the only one still eating? Oh, there's no shame in your game. I'm impressed. Mm. <laughs> so, Billy tells me you guys met online? Yeah, I answered their ad on Craigslist. Oh. Oh, it wasn't Craigslist. It's an agency our lawyer works with in La Jolla. Yeah, but I read about the agency on Craigslist. You did? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, the jobs are way less lame in the miscellaneous section. Like. Once I got paid 75 bucks to talk about why I love HBO, and I don't even have HBO. They couldn't track that through like a bill or something? No, I used my roommate's HBO Go code. You know, I figured like, how could they actually prove that, you know? Plus I had some uh, strong opinions I wanted to share, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'm tired, thanks for dinner. Oh, no, leave that. You're not the maid. You're the tote bag. Margaret. She doesn't know what to call herself. Still, Jesus. No, it, it's fine. Really. Good night. Oh, yeah. 
she's escaping the old farts. <laughs> she said she was tired. Yeah, no doubt. Exhausted from passing along a parasitic infection to our unborn child. She had two bites of a California roll. She inhaled it, and she lied about HBO Go. You're judging because she was dishonest to some market researchers? She's a pregnant stranger who blatantly ate sushi in our home. Sarah. I mean, what does she do when she's alone? Scarf hot dogs and chain smoke? I mean, we don't even know her. I am gonna go take a bath. You're in charge of the monitor. Just picture it at Christmas, all decorated. You're not gonna do that, are you? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I think it's mandatory. Inflated Santas. You know what Sarah doesn't know about our surrogate? Mm. She has tattoos. You're e-stalking her. <laughs> no, it's, mm, it's, it's perfect. God, what I would give for her hair. She's got, like, angel hair. It's like Tallulah's. Do you think Tallulah looks like Crystal? Her hair does. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. knows us. He loves us. He's got great comic timing. And he's an atheist. Yeah. I'm gonna ask him. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, I just, I wanna focus on finishing this fiasco, though, before I make any other major commitments. Okay. Fine. But, you know, if we don't plan it, then it's... No, we will, we will. We will. Fine. You did say yes, you know. It's not uncommon. Cervical irregularities are about one in 100 pregnancies. How did we not know about this before? Well, most couples tend to go with a proven surrogate, a woman who's had a successful pregnancy and delivery. I have to remind you, this is the risk we discussed before. We did, but I'm so sorry. Oh, no, it's not your fault. What causes this? Irregularities in the uterus, past DNC, previous damage from miscarriage, any number of factors. I, I didn't do anything. Uh, oh, no, no. It's not a cause to panic, but she will be on bed rest from now until the baby comes. Uh, no heavy lifting, no prolonged standing. Actually, uh, we'll get the car and we'll pick you up. Why don't you go down the elevator? We'll meet you out front. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, everything's fine. Everything's great. We'll, we'll see you downstairs. Okay, you need to be nicer to Crystal. It's not her fault. Well, her cervix is flawed, Billy. I am the one who's supposed to have the less than ideal reproductive system, not the woman we are paying to incubate our child. And this might even be covered under the linen law. Okay, that's kind of corporate and weird. You heard what the doctor said. Things like this happen. I think you're overreacting. Oh, you do? Really? Yes. 
We could lose the baby. Were you even listening to what the doctor said? You know, I knew we shouldn't have gone with her. She's fine. We wanted this. For us and for Tallulah. We're making a family here. We both wanted this. Yeah, well... Maybe I'm just having buyer's remorse. God, please, stop talking like that. It's not who you are. Hey, sweetheart. What? Oh, great. The science experiment is working. Perfect. I have to go to work. Oh, no, 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 no. This is fantastic. You're fucking lactating. We're in the home stretch here, babe. It's all good, okay? Sarah? Yes. We're doing this. I love you. to writers who can't write anymore? I can't talk now. No, you have to. You Found it. Way to go, Austin. I'm totally screwed. I don't have a book, and it's due. Okay, Margaret, I... Why are you whispering? I'm in an escape room on a team building exercise. You have so aged out, Billy. You think? Yesterday, I forgot my Slack password, and half of them thought I have Alzheimer's, but I gotta go. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Tell me that it's gonna be okay. Tell me that I'm gonna finish, and that they're not gonna drop the book and me. Courage, Margaret. Guys, guys, I found a combination. Nice. Let's go. All right. Are you sure? <laughs> Next round. Oh. oh. No. What? 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 <laughs> You're so smart. <laughs> Girls want playing around. No. All right. Next round. Okay, again. You want to do it? Yeah, sure, sure. All right. Hey, you found it. She, we're gonna be late. So could you grab the diaper bag? Uh -huh. Ready? <laughs> Well, this is exciting. Her first mommy and me matinee. Oh, I call sexist though. Right. <laughs> uh, well, we'll probably be back early, depending. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, so just relax, have fun, and don't do any heavy lifting. Right? Have fun. Just ringing, ringing, Hi. ringing. It's, 
No, no, my son-in-law is too busy with his startup company that never starts up. Why can't they just admit the fact that Sarah is the breadwinner and Bill is the natural-born mother? Yeah, thank God he got the gene, because God knows she didn't. Or did I just say that out loud? I'm sorry, that's the pain pills talking. Oh, hey! Beautiful day, huh? Hi. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna have some explaining to do. Let me try it again. Hi, this is Great. Sarah. And goes Julia to Tulula. voicemail. You have to text. What, my own daughter and son-in-law? Texting was invented so they don't have to talk to us. called like 10 times. God, did you see the text? She's coming today. This would be stupid enough. Wait, I don't understand. A cat? How did that happen? I don't know. I was just walking along, and then suddenly it just darted in front of me. It's not a bad break, though. They said I should be good as new in a few weeks. Well, you can't stay here. Sarah, that, that winery is like a labyrinth. Now, obviously, I can't do stairs. I'm sorry this is an inopportune time, but your mother needs your help. God knows I've helped you enough over the years. We don't have the room. Because that stranger is carrying my grandchild? I'm just curious, when, when exactly were you gonna tell me? I don't know, Mom. Maybe never, for obvious reasons. <laughs> oh, by the way, I love what you've done with the kitchen. Wait, you just woke her up from her nap. Big whoop. No, 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 Mom, do not go in there. You woke Cholula up. Oh, I woke her up? I can't handle this stress. Oh, you're not threatening. Billy, this is a nightmare. Hey, it's me. I'm bringing Crystal to your place. Rita just showed up. <laughs> Jack, no, 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 sorry. Come here. Oh, God. Come here. It's okay to let her cry. You're just gonna let her cry herself to sleep? Yeah. I can't do that. She's nine months pregnant with somebody else's baby. I'd be bawling my eyes out, too. But what if something bad happens? Something bad did happen. We're babysitting Billy and Sarah's surrogate. What was I supposed to do? We already rejected their actual children. The least I could do was take their surrogate. OK, you go. Go? Yeah, this whole thing, this entire debacle is your doing. You and your best friend, husband, sister, wife, Billy. <gasps> no. Uh -huh. Come with me, please. I have to be at work at 7.15. Do you have to be at work at 7.15? It is not helpful when you criticize my non-writing. Well, you should have taken dibs on Rita. I'm having trouble, okay? Oh, I know you are, honey, but you know what? I don't always feel like being a nurse, but I show up every day and I do it. You know, I, I can't say, gee, I'm not feeling inspired to respond to a gold blue. I'm not doing it. I'm not feeling it. I just push through and I do it. Crystal? Sarah? You go. 
Alma just needs water. Sarah! I don't want to give her any more water. She'll just be Sarah! careening down the hallway in her crutches again to the bathroom. You're really going to deny your mother water? Why, she, why can't she just go to the rehab place? I know you two can hear me. <sighs> hey, Rita. Need anything? No, I feel like a pariah in my own daughter's house. WebMD said it might be a sign of premature labor. Okay, I'm a nurse. Did you know that? Okay, so let's just everybody relax, okay? WebMD and late nights is a bad situation. They should block that site after 11 p.m. Do you think they're contractions? I don't think so, but it, it, it could be my own. It turns out I have an incompetent cervix and I could lose the baby. Okay, all right. Come on, lie down. All right. Are you nauseous? No. Good. All right. So we can call your OB in the morning. All right. Oh, these sheets are so soft. Your sheets are not soft? No, they are. These are just extra soft. Like my grandmother's. She's asleep. That's impossible. Yeah. Oh. God, she's young. Look, I'm gonna go lie down in the guest room, okay? Yeah. And uh, just let her stay here and you can watch her. See? This is what it would be like to have kids, Margaret. <sighs> Incredibly exhausting. And inconvenient. I am telling you, Tanya, this has been a nightmare. <laughs> I mean, I feel like a pariah in a house that I helped pay for. Yeah, well, if, if, if they would just help me in and out of the car, then maybe I could meet with the Kermit Lynch people. <sighs> Those barrels aren't going to ship themselves. Do you know that I have to practically howl to get a glass of water around here? Oh, and don't, don't get me started on how freezing cold it is in this place. I mean, it's like a meat locker. I She's gossiping about us over the baby monitor. Yeah. Yeah, nice. no, no. Of course, sweetie. I, I, I totally understand. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll talk to your mom. Okay. Sarah? Sarah! I call Lula. No, no, please don't make me go in there. Just go in there and connect with her. That's what she wants. Sarah! I've been trying to do that my whole life. What you need, Rita? Where's Sarah? With the baby? How are the payments treating you? Oh, I stopped taking them. Maybe that's not such a good idea. Stay ahead of the pain. No, I need to be alert. For Christ's sake, Mom, just take the pain pills. Oh, I knew you could hear me. You owe me an apology. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I used your money to buy a baby. How horrible of me. I linked arms with Gloria Stein. Yeah. I marched with Bella. OK, oh, sorry. I'm just going to run Yeah, what's your point? To use the womb of an underprivileged woman just for your own baby. I'm getting a baby. Wait, why do you assume that she's underprivileged? Oh, and how many affluent women do you know who would ever consider carrying someone else's child? You just show me that long, long, endless, non-existent list. College girls, Mom, they do it for money. Lots of oh, them. Oh, so, so you're taking advantage of our inhumane student loan policy? Just once. Just once could you choose me? Once in my life, could you pick me? Oh, look who's here. It's my Tallulah. My girl. Oh, let me look at these hands. Oh, my goodness. How artistic. No, she doesn't. We bought those two. Thank you for taking Crystal. It's a little nuts at my house. Yeah, 
just a few more weeks. Yeah, it's a little more complicated than you can imagine. Everything's a mess. It's a total shit show. You will get through it. Ah, no, it's, um... <sighs> Crystal's the biological mother of the kids. Both kids. I was at the hospital when Sarah delivered to Lula. We bought eggs from Crystal and had them implanted in Sarah. So, genetically, Crystal's the mother. She's a surrogate. Sarah's the mother. Right, sorry. Wrong, wrong word. So that's why they look so much alike. It's so messed up. Legally, Crystal, with all this crazy drama that's going on, she could claim maternal rights if she wants to. Okay, that's scary, though. I just thought if we did it this way, we'd have two full siblings. That boom, done. Because remember the first time, that nightmare? We used all of Crystal's embryos for Tallulah. Tallulah has none of Sarah's genes? It was so hard not to tell you. But, you know, Sarah, she was 38 and had no viable legs. She was so vulnerable. You get it, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. And you were supposed to have signed up weeks ago. I really don't need one more thing to worry about right now. So, Bill, here's here's the thing. We've um we decided that maybe it's not the best thing for us. What? Look, we don't need we don't want we don't we don't want your kids if you die. Are you kidding? Is this payback for me not telling you about? No, no. And I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how to tell you either. Tool is the greatest thing I've ever done. I know. She's amazing. I can't believe you wouldn't want to accept this gift. Well, I get yeah, the thing is, though, you know, it's, it's not really a gift if you don't want it. Right. Sure. Tell me you get this in the house. So I have I the croissants. I have a pop tart. Okay, I'm gonna do one more thing. Actually, you know what? Would you give me an apple to remember to you? It's for Tallulah. Thank you. So Bill's the one who takes Tallulah to all the birthday parties. I say bravo. Well, today he did. You take turns. It's endless. The rule to preschool is that you have a birthday party, you have to invite all the kids in the class. Wait, so what, there's a rule as to who your friends are? Mom, it's so the kids who aren't invited don't get their feelings hurt. Well, actually, I think that we should embrace getting our feelings hurt. You know, we should relish the opportunity to develop a thicker skin. <laughs> and God knows that's the only way to survive in this world. Well, no worries, Mom. I'm sure Tallulah will come home from school one day in tears, convinced that she has left Ben. Feel good? Oh, of course I feel good because I am a monster. You know, it's amazing that I can drive this thing with these hideous talons. I never said you were a monster. Don't forget, she asked for apples. I know, I don't like these apples. They're other apples that I like better. I know. It's just these two elephants. It's beautiful. Okay. I understand that. I don't know why it made me cry. Are you hungry? I was gonna heat up some soup. Okay. Thanks. All right, great. All right, I made it myself. And it tastes good. So, you're in school, right? What are you studying? Occupational therapy. That's like PT, right? But not. Basically, <laughs> it's one of the fastest growing careers in the country because no matter what, people are gonna have strokes. Lucky you. Yeah, I don't want them to, they just, they just are. <laughs> mm -hmm. You like it? It's not my passion or anything. What is your passion? Surfing. Cool. Yeah. But what I like about OT is that it can financially support my surfing. It's an actual profession, and I can get a job anywhere. Oh, well, good for you. You know, when I was your age, I was a minimum wage slave at a bookstore. Well, 
What's your new book about? Humans, human people. Um, and you know, I'm not there yet. The first two chapters are really good, but I'm kind of stuck. My therapist told me to wear this, this rubber band. And every time I have an incapacitatingly self-hating thought, I just, boom, reprogram that shit. And that works. No, I basically take Fred for walks. Oh my God, can we do that? I'm going fucking stir crazy. Mm. What's the technical definition of bed rest? I can go on a walk. Even if Sarah and Billy don't want me to. So they're just being overly cautious? With their tote bag? Oh shit, I am such a moron. I'm so sorry. Sometimes... Why? I thought it was funny. Like, I can be pregnant and have a sense of humor and go on a walk all at the same time. You wanna see? Come on, Freddy. Fred. Treats. Walkies, Fred. Treats. Come here. All right, let's, let's go. Why'd you decide to become a surrogate? To make a childless family's dreams come true. <laughs> That's what the agency wants you to say. And I am, but really it's for the money. You know, there are easier, less invasive ways of making money, right? Yeah, but this is a lot of money. I mean, you have to pay taxes on it, which no one ever mentions. Really? But if I do this once, I'm debt free and with real options. My mom had five kids, and with each kid, fewer options. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Did you hear from her? Straight to voicemail. Did you try Margaret? Twice. I can try again? Yes, please. Hey, what's up? Hi, yeah. Uh, I'm trying not to panic, but have you heard from Margaret or Crystal today? No, why? I've called them both like five times, and no one is picking up. Okay, but don't freak out. I'm sure there's a simple explanation. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi, are you with Crystal? No, I'm at work. Well, is Margaret with Crystal? I think so. Hold on, I'm adding Billy to the call. Okay. No one's picking up for me either. Oh my God. John, have you spoken to Margaret? No, and can someone tell me what's happening? Well, I've called both of them like five times and no one is picking up. Hey, uh, can you get somebody to cover for me? Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna go home and check, but I'm sure she's just taking a nap, all right? Okay. You know my boyfriend's opinion? You have a boyfriend? They broke up. He couldn't see this as a business decision. Or his jerk friend saying I was the baby mama of some rich dude's kid. You know, he wanted a third of the money for his mental suffering and inconvenience. He was serious. Yeah, and that's the attitude. It's like the typical surfer boy macho bullshit. I was like, uh, yeah, I don't think so, dude. Oh, oh my God. He's moving. God, you can see it. That's so wild. Yeah. What, I'm, is that okay? Yeah, it's over. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, congratulations. Is it a boy or a girl? A, a boy. Duke. Great. <laughs> I'm always going to call him Duke now. Sorry, I shouldn't. Yeah, I shouldn't have done let's that. let's not do that. Yeah. All right, come on, Fred. Can you just keep calling Jen to see if she's heard from her? I am getting the legal together. Legal? What? Was something wrong? Oh, just that my baby might be halfway to Belarus. Tallulah? Keep calling her. 
This is exactly why we put her on the family plan, so we could reach her in case of an emergency. All right, the chances of her absconding with your... I know, I know, but something must be wrong, Mom. Okay, just, just take it easy, Sarah. Mom, this building is old. Maybe there was a gas leak and they're all dead. Or an explosion happened underground. That happens, you know? know. People are just walking around living their lives and they all end up in flames and die. Okay, <laughs> you have to listen to me. Everything is going to be fine. Now, in a few weeks, this... Stranger is going to have your baby. And thanks to the wonders of modern medicine, you are going to breastfeed your baby. You're gonna hold him close and keep him safe from all the things that you're afraid of. And you won't do it perfectly. You will make many, many mistakes, but if you're lucky, someday he will forgive you those mistakes and you will love him forever, no matter what. Do you promise? I promise. Hi, Mom. Tallulah. Those weren't my eggs. We bought them from Crystal. The same with a new baby. So, uh, biologically, they aren't related to me. So they aren't yours, either. At all? No. Not at all. Well, I don't care what anyone says. That girl has my nose. Siri, call Billy. Madge, where are you? Fort Point. Have you seen Crystal? Yeah, she's right here with me. Hi, Billy. Fort Point doing what? We went for a walk to get some fresh air. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. She wanted to get out. Everything's cool. Not really, Crystal. Everything is not really cool. We've been calling, and you haven't been answering. Why haven't you been picking up your phones? We left them in the car. Jesus. OK, just go home now, would you? Sure. Because Sarah is flipping out, and I have to call her back and make up some bullshit cover story. Oh, boy. I had to leave work. I am so sorry. What part of the term bed rest was confusing for you? They let her out of the house to go to the doctor. You went for a hike, a walk. And she's not a hostage. It's, it's like they act like they own her. They own what's inside of her. No, they don't. They really don't. I don't know what's going on with you. Nothing. But these aren't our decisions to make, OK? We just need to cross the finish line and hand her back. I have to get back to the hospital. So, uh... So I, I kind of maybe kissed Crystal. <laughs> You're not kidding. No, I could not tell you. Hold on, you're actually telling me you made out with our surrogate? No, I didn't make out with her. How could she do this to us? But I didn't, it wasn't, I didn't, it just happened. I don't know, it was like a brief connection between two people, it was nothing, it was nothing. Should I have? Gotten a less attractive surrogate so you wouldn't be tempted? This is in college. Yeah, I know that. You can't just make out with a girl from media studies that I like and come home and brag about it. She's carrying her baby. I'm not bragging about it, Billy. I'm confessing. You know, and maybe it's about the baby. And you and us. The fuck are you even talking about? Give me a break. God, I'm being honest and you're being a dick. You know, I'm writing about this. Are you listening to yourself? What was I thinking? You're right. I'm sorry, I forgot. We don't talk about our actual lives anymore. She's my surrogate, not yours. OK, first of all, she's not yours or mine. And second, I think you're jealous. <laughs> you cannot tell Sarah. Honestly, I think she'll kill you. And you know what? Crystal is coming back here. No, she's not. Yes, she is. Tallulah will sleep with us, and Crystal will sleep in her room. What? That's stupid. I mean, you can't force her. Either she comes back with us, or I tell Jen. You think I'm not going to tell Jen? Well, have you? I'll pick her up tomorrow after work.
Great. So, Saturday's off, right? The whole blending ritual. Oh, fuck. No, that happens. It's important to Sarah. Fine, we'll be there. Oh, wonderful. Margaret, I would love your opinion on something. Sure. I was thinking of having Tallulah call me Nana Rita. You know, because when I hear the word Nana, I, th I think old. But when I hear Nana Rita, I am instantly intrigued. I think it's, it's perfect. Right? Yeah. All right. I'll see you Saturday. Did I miss something? Hmm? I gotta get Tallulah from daycare. Hey, Bill, I have an idea. Uh, why don't I pay someone to finish this? No, you paid for it once already. A second time's not happening. Thank you, but no. It's very simple. Now, I have the money, you're having a baby, and you need a working kitchen. <laughs> if I had more time, I'd... But you don't. And here. Just take it. Thank you so much. Thanks. You always call me Bill. Everyone else calls me Billy. Yeah, well, Billy isn't exactly an appropriate name for a grown man, now is it? As individuals, we are beautiful people all on our own. But when we are blended together, we form something even more amazing. A litter box. Shush. A family, Margaret, a fucking family. Okay, everybody, let's stay positive. So we just mix all of these together? Yes, and we each have a color. Blue for Billy, red for Margaret, turquoise for Jen. Mom, you have yellow, I have green, and Crystal. Would you mind pouring the pink for Tallulah since she's asleep? Yeah. Then together we pour them in the keepsake vase to create one bond, one family. Crystal doesn't have her own color? Oh, it, it's okay. No. I mean, she seems pretty important to this blend, I think. <laughs> Essential, actually. Stay in your lane, Margaret. I actually, I just didn't think you would want You know to. what? Does Tallulah have a sandbox? I mean, you know, we can no, go and get some sand it's, and just... It's really okay. It seems more like a family thing. So, have fun. Thanks, Madge. Is it a personal mission you're on? Screw up the ritual? You don't want Lula? No, stop it. Billy, we totally get it. You already did the kid thing, and my cousin Heather is completely happy about the garden. That's not the point. No, seriously, she's super psyched about the possibility of us dying. Oh, well, yeah, of course she is. Ka-ching. We love Tallulah. It has nothing to do with how we feel about her, Billy. It has everything to do with her. Okay, you know what? I, I, for one, think that we are all avoiding the elephant in the room. What? Back in the dinosaur age, I was on the front lines of feminism. And as such, I think that I have a deep understanding of the economics of surrogacy. Mom, stop. Yeah, look, I recognize that it's Crystal's body, and I respect her decision to do whatever she wants to do with it, but this is commodification of another human being, Sarah. Mom, seriously, shut up. How can you not see that? Shut up. Okay, we should have told you about the kids that first night. Right. We reject your children. Now pass the fucking salt. How many geniuses can there be, really? I mean, what, Thelonious Monk, Toni Morrison, Robin Williams, Bill Murray, I'm listing geniuses. Jen, can you help me? When I call? Every time I mention Lula, I feel you shutting down or checking your email. Then why do you go on and on with all the minutia? It's like if I say I'm tired. You're like, 
Oh, please, don't tell me about tired. You don't know tired until you have a kid. If I can't tell you, who do I tell it to? Spouses. Spouses are good to talk to. <sighs> These two might as well be married to each other. Crystal. Crystal, I am so sorry about earlier. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, have you seen my power cord? All I'm saying is, when you have a kid, it's a different kind of tired. Am I right? Oh, my God. You just did it again, see? Here. Use Billy's laptop. The password is Tallulah, small t, and the A's are eights. Okay. Oh, thank you. You know, it's like you don't know love until you have a kid, or joy, or gratitude. Today's the last day to register for classes, so. Good for you, sweetie. You know, it's like I can't even have any true human experience unless I'm, I'm filtering that experience through my children. You're the one who doesn't value what she has. I have real human emotional experiences. I just don't feel the need to post them all on Instagram. Oh, oh. Hey, Billy. Why do you have these pictures of me on your computer? What? Oh, those. Billy, what are those pictures? Those are just, um, you know, you saw those, Sarah. No, no, I absolutely did not see these. They were part of our research phase? <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. This seems weird. It feels weird, right? I do not see you in a sexual way, at all. OK, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's really not fair that I'm the only guy. <clears throat> I just wanted to know more about who you were, are. That's all. And you decided not to show me these because why? It's fairly obvious. She's an attractive young woman. You're not helping, Rita. I'm sorry. You're a surfer. I'm a surfer. That's cool. So I checked out your Instagram. Oh, my god. And Facebook. It's public. She posted it all. But boundaries, Billy. OK, 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 OK. Look, right? You're doing a terrible job of explaining this. It was totally innocent. I looked her up, too. Wait, you did? Yeah, I did. All right, shoot me, all right? I was curious. He, we, like he said, just wanted to get to know you better. And you know, why wouldn't we, right? And as a little aside, like in our little narrative, this is a major plot twist. But anyway, I digress. What would be really weird Guys, what would be really weird is if we didn't want to get to know everything about you. I'm just here to do this job. You know, I'm not anything else for any of you. Excuse me. Hold on, hold on. Let me help you. OK. It's OK. Uh, oh, Jory? I, I kissed your girlfriend. Excuse me? It just happened, and I feel like this is the best time to tell you. I knew you wouldn't tell her. You knew? It was my fault. I have no doubt it was anything but your fault. We should go. No, no, please don't leave yet. No, I have to go to work tomorrow at 7 o'clock, and I'm not just so much into this whole blending thing right now. Margaret, call the car. Or not. Jen. 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 Don't leave. Come on, not like this. Do you want to be with me? I do. Then stop being confused. Look, it's a choice, Margaret. You're in or you're out. All right, it's so much simpler than what you're making it. You sit down and you're right. You wake up and you love someone. Guys, no one is going anywhere. We are going to have this damn blending ritual, even though none of us wants to have it, but we need something. And I've got sand, and I've got this ceremonial bowl thingy, and my assistant's family did it, and they seem happy, so we're going to fucking do it. Please? We'll make it a fast blend. I'm talking fucking Vitamix speed, people. Thank you.
You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just cleaning up. Do you want some tea? Oh, sure. Uh, Crystal, I'm sorry about the sand. The truth is, it's, it's, it's actually just from China. <laughs> That's okay. Still think it's kind of sweet. You look tired. Thank you. Crystal, you're amazing. I haven't said this before because I... I actually don't know how to thank you for what you're doing for us. What you've done for us. It's just so enormous. Thank you so much. I'll be so glad when this baby's born. I will be so glad when this baby is born. He's kicking. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a night owl. So am I. Sarah, he only wants you. my pants or or both we're ready to rumble okay okay here here take this go get your stuff i'm gonna call billy and we're gonna head to the hospital okay okay all right honey honey, honey uh, yeah yeah it's, it's baby time okay all right uh yeah to let this is coming i'll have mom wait for her and then uh we are gonna head to the hospital right now i can't find you okay i love you mom mom Baby time. Oh, fabulous. How are you doing, sweetie? You okay? I'm peachy. You know what? You are exactly the right age to be doing this. You're going to be just fine. Oh, I'm glad you got her a towel, because this can get a little messy. Okay, all right, here. Who's taking you? Take a quick picture. Come on, turn around and smile. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's go. Mom, I got you. Mom, all, all the phone numbers are on the fridge. Pediatrician, police, fire. Okay. If you need anything, just call the numbers. Tallulah is going to be picked up at four by your okay. babysitter. Oh, pizza, there and you go. Go through dinner. All right. Okay, all right, there's a pack on top of the fridge and there's a fire extinguisher under the sink. You know how to use it, Sarah, right? it's fine, go. Okay. Oh, we could be all night. Can you make breakfast? Yeah, yeah, I can toast an English muffin. Okay, so you've never babysat her before. Well, sweetie, you never asked me to. No, it's fine, it's fine. Go and bring me back a grand <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> hi, uh, I'm just curious, what's happening uh, They hired a surrogate. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, yep, we paid a shit ton of money. And now we're gonna go have a baby. Okay. All right. You in? Yep. All right. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Drive we will. All right. In there. All right. Let's do this. Have a baby. Have a baby. Oh. Have a nice day. <laughs> I think you have our insurance on file. Last name's Wong, our really? surrogate's name. Oh. Okay, I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Crystal. Do we have everything? Yeah, Do we have yeah, everything? everything? Okay. Great, perfect. 
We're all here. Crystal Waters? Ready to have this baby? Well, I guess it better be. <laughs> Any pit crew coming in with you? Uh, well, I guess his mother should be there. And, uh, Jen, if you don't hate me. No. I can handle one little pregnant lady kiss. So that's settled. Let's go do this thing. They met in New York in Carroll Gardens after the world's longest and worst improv show. She'd heard him laughing at her space work. Later at the cast party, he told her it didn't look like she was making a phone call, it looked like she was punching herself in the face, thereby ending her stage career but starting something better. That's why Carol, Margaret, I'm naming my son after my best friend. I really think I'm gonna be better with them when they're older. And who are we now? That it's all changed and we're on to the next chapter. Can you even remember what we called killing time over a third cup of obsessively brewed coffee? Or at our favorite spot on Union Street, a place that doesn't even exist anymore. Imagine it, killing time. The very concept seems cruel now, unspeakable words. Knowing that someday, we're going to want that time back. Because odds are, one of us is going to have to say goodbye first. Just don't let it be me. You are and forever will be my first person. My connector to me. Because you know me better, different, worse than everybody else on the planet. And I will babysit your children. And I promise to give them back to you alive, alert, and strong. I love you, so I love what matters to you. I promise you, I do. Thank you.